I come from a very boring Dutch town full of laws, churches, and people who want to know my business. So I ran away following a man to the army. And uh, now there might be plenty of people who want to know my business, but I dare them to tell me what to do. I'll fight them. Same thing for my man. I could get a new soldier if I wanted to, and no one could say anything. There are thousands of women here like me. The generals need us because without us, the men live in fleas, filth, and disease. We also find the food and the firewood, clean the clothes, we find new clothes. I found some very nice things myself. Some women run taverns and sell drinks by the glass and food and games. Sometimes we camp in one place for a year or more during a siege and other times we're on the move. So here I'm bundled up ready to take a trip and I'm just gonna find a little food before I take off. At Jamestown, not many camp women came to the fort because the ship voyage was very expensive. But women who came to the fort did do laundry and keep the fort clean like camp women did in Europe. Jamestown fort's military rules also tried to force the men here to clean up after themselves, something that camps in Europe struggled to make happen. If you're curious about camp women, you could read a novel from the 1600s called Mother Courage by Grimmelhausen it's a fantastical novel, but it does star a camp woman named Courage. Or you could read a history book called Women, Armies, and Warfare in Early Modern Europe by John Lynn. I don't know how long it took for that shot to be heard around the world, but for here, it came quick enough. Before long, the men, both young and old, had gone off to fight in the war, leaving us with the crops, the fields, the livestock, and all other manner of men's work as if we didn't have enough work of our own. Now, soldiers are knocking on my door, looking for food, quarter, and who knows what else. I don't plan on sticking around to see what's next. Open up in the name of the king! I am a wife, a mother, a daughter, by all accounts a woman, but not to be confused with a lady. The common sort, such as myself, are full of grit under our nails and through our teeth. We are good enough for laundering their undergarments, bringing food and drink up to them on the battlefield, and even sweeping the battlefield after victory for supplies for the soldiers. But good luck getting a reprieve with a ride on the wagon. You, off the car, move it. Considered baggage ourselves, that's where you will find us, in the back of the camp, with the baggage, with the animals, doing the needed work that nobody really wants to do. At least we have been offered safety and security. As for the shelter, well, I have no one to blame but myself. Trying to understand the role of the women who followed the Continental Army during the American Revolution can be quite a complex undertaking. The term camp follower generally could have applied to anyone following the army, any civilian. But when it comes to the women, that term camp follower has grown to have a negative connotation associated with it. And while there may have been some less appealing attributes uh, carried by some of these women, for the most part, you will find that these women were actually family members, the wives, companions, sometimes even the mothers um, or the children of the soldiers that were fighting in the war. All the horrors of war, the hardships, the disease, the illness, the lack of food, supplies, and this affected the women and children that were following the army as well. Uh, what we know about these women often isn't told through their own voice, but through those who observed them. And we will not always know all of their stories, but we do know that Washington mentioned them in his general orders on uh, more than one occasion, and they were expected to not only work, but they were held to the standards of the army. Not following those standards could have resulted in a beating and a drumming out of the camp, putting them back into a life of uncertainty. So some of them would have come here for that work, for safety, security. We may not ever know all of their stories, but we do know that without them, the army could not have been successful here. And sadly, they've been mostly forgotten. Thank you for watching our video. If you want to, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. You can also find us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.